Good morning, guys. It is Monday, March 9th. As you can see, I am up 30 pips long EuroCAD. <laughs> We are in for an interesting start to the week. Right now, we're looking at Dow futures down over a thousand points with the big oil news over the weekend. Be right now, we have oil down 19%. At one point, it was down 35%. So with oil dropping, we're seeing crazy volatility across all markets. And I think the stock market is going to react negatively when that opens up this morning. But knowing all of that, knowing that equity markets are going to probably move down, I'm long biased on Euro pairs still following the trend from last week and the week before. So this morning I identified about a 30 pip stop on a risk reward opportunity here on my favorite pair recently, EuroCAD, following our D1 system. So I used the D1 entry system to get a late entry here and I already grabbed half the trade out. My stop is locked in profit because it moved one R. I got about 34 pips into profit, closed half of it and locked the stop. Can't lose any money on the position and I'm gonna let this continue. But I wanna show you what I liked about the trade here this morning. Now, before we get into that, if you're new, my name is Austin Silver. I appreciate you being here. Make sure you subscribe right down below me. That way you don't miss any of the future videos. I put out my daily trade recaps every single day. But this week is going to be interesting with all the news going on across the entire world. I mean, even here, I'm looking at the iPad. I have CNBC open. It says European stocks fall 6% and enter bear market territory as oil markets crash. Japan stocks down 5%. China and Hong Kong down 3% oil down more than 20%, like I just told you, the 10-year treasury yield down to its lowest point ever, 0.237 right now. So a lot of interesting signals across the global economy, creating volatility, creating opportunities for us to make money. I don't interpret all of this and try to forecast what's going to happen. I use this news and this volatility to help me identify risk reward setups like this behind my entry and exit systems, the same systems we teach in our course. So now I'm up 28 pips. We're pushing back towards my 1R. There you go, 31, 30 pips now. I wanna flip over to TradingView and I wanna show you, you can see the divergence here pretty quickly down at 154.38. I waited for this. I could have gotten in at like 154.67, but I actually waited a little bit later till we broke 155. Once we were at 155, I knew I could use that kind of whole number significant level as a entry price. I got in there and now I'm watching it basically hold this yellow line, this eight EMA. So if I turn off all the other EMAs here, let me show you, just like this. What I'm doing now is I'm using this eight EMA as my buffer line. If it breaks down through the eight EMA, I'll take a little bit more of the trade off. If not, I'm gonna stay focused on the 15 minute doing the same thing basically, waiting to see if price action, let me extend this out, waiting to see if price action will get through the eight EMA, which it looks like it should here in two minutes, and then we'll look to see if it'll head back towards high of day. Now you can see the massive gap here to start the week, 300 pips, and then it continued 670 pips during the Asian session, just continued to gas higher. This is EuroCAD, but we saw this across all the Euro pairs. Look at EuroUSD, same thing. EuroGBP did its own thing now as it's getting moved around by GBP, but you still see that extension. Look at EuroAUD, massive. 1200 pips. I've never seen something like that in the Asian session, maybe once or twice in the last five years, but very, very rarely. Look at GBP NZD from the changeover of day, just in the Asian session, 1300 pips last night. So crazy movement there. Now let's pull up FX trade here. You can see we're up 50 pips now in the trade. So the trade is working really, really well. Let me turn on the EMAs. I'm not going to try to call a top on this. As you can see, let me put us back on the one minute. Yeah, we're holding that eight EMA. Well, this looks good. As you can see, my take profit is set at 158.42, very, very high, like 200 pips higher. I'm giving this plenty of space because I want to see if it'll go towards high of day. And that's where I'm at. It's 615. I'm up 57 pips now. It's ripping. So let's stay on here and give it a few seconds. I wanted to show you where this candle closes in 45 seconds. <laughs> but now we're up 61. I mean, I want you guys to just see this volatility, see this trade continue for me. I have half the trade still in. It's risk-free because the stop loss is locked in profit. And I feel like I'm just trying to drive home the point that all you need is one of these a day. Like I'm not stressed. I don't give a all this. Damn it, I can't curse. I'm trying not to mess up my monetization. Whatever. I can't, um, can't lose any money and I can't interpret this news and try to forecast it. I'm pointing at the iPad. So instead of trying to forecast this, I'm just gonna keep trading good technicals and using that to create volatility that'll create trades like this. So now that we're up, about 60 pips, we're almost at that 2R level. 
So what I just told the VIP chat was where I'm at with this trade, just that I'm up 60 pips, got in late, 50% is closed, stop is locked, and then I'm riding the Euro bias on this thing as it continues higher. There's no exit signal yet here on the one minute, and that tells me that now that our 15 minute candle just closed 30 seconds ago, I need to let this sit for at least another 15 minutes before I do anything. So I'll come back on as we get to 6.30, maybe 6.45 or seven o'clock, whatever it is, how long I stay in this trade, and I'll keep you guys updated. I appreciate you being here. Like I said, if you're new, make sure you're subscribed. Give me a thumbs up if you're finding value, if you enjoy this. And if you want to learn more about the entry signal that I used to identify the risk reward here, there's links in the description about our starter pack. Join the email list, start to get involved with our team and reach out to me. I'm here to help you in any way that I can. Don't think that just because you're watching my YouTube videos, I'm not gonna answer you. Email me, comment below, any way you can get a hold of me. Message me on Instagram, Telegram, whatever, Twitter. Any way you can get a hold of me, I'm here to help you guys in any way that I can. I want you guys to make money like I am during this amazing time to be a trader. So I'll be back in a little bit. I'll let you guys know how it plays out. We're up 50 here and we'll give it some more time. Let's see if we can push towards high of day. All right, guys, it's eight o'clock. So I'm up 114 pips on the remaining piece of the EuroCAD trade. After that initial pullback, you see we extended, retested the high and actually pushed through. When we broke through the high set here at like 6.30 in the morning, once we broke through and retested, I knew that we had the potential to see another push higher off of that level. So I added in with 1% risk, which really helped pay off on this trade to add even more because it shot up over 4R very quickly. I took most of it at 4R and then a little bit more of it here as it pushed higher a few minutes later. So now I've added to the winning day just by scalping in the same direction, same bias, same conviction, same entry signal, all following the same idea. This is not that complicated. I know I want to buy it. I know how to get it at a good price, reading the EMAs, reading the TDI, and reading the market structure. You see the break, you get the retest, you move off of that following the overall direction. It's really simple. Like I'm not doing anything that complicated. It follows our system and our structure that we teach in the course, but it isn't that complicated. So now the day continues to be profitable. I have this very small remaining piece with the stop loss still locked in profit, so I can't lose any money. And we're going to see how these U.S. markets open. It's only 8 o'clock right now. Dow futures are down 1,255 points. S&P futures are down 145 points. So both of them down almost 5%. And the VIX is up almost 44%. So we're seeing a lot of craziness this morning. If you look at the news headlines, literally all of it is red. Look at it on CNBC. They love this, right? Gold is up. Euro USD is up, GBP USD is up, but everything else is down. So we'll see how the market opens in an hour and a half, but I'm happy with this trade. I'll show you one more time here on the FX piece, up 109 pips on the remaining entry. So if I take any more pieces, I will come back and let you guys know, but I'm probably done. I'm probably just gonna take this. It's a really, really solid day for me. There's nothing more that I need to jab at. Of course, we could stay and trade it up, trade it down, trade it up, trade it down, but I don't wanna expose myself to that risk. I've exceeded my daily goal as far as percent gain, so I'm more than happy. It's only eight o'clock. I get to work on the Tampa seminar content. I get to go to the gym and get other stuff done for you guys. So yeah, I appreciate you guys being here very much. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you give me a thumbs up if you found some value and I'll see you guys in the next trade.